white people, white people's hair sheds. This is an absolute lie. It it's is so lie. true. I, I'm exhibit A. I still have the same hair I had as a baby. <laughs> you can be in another city, and you would still find my hair on you. Yeah, me. I find it on me. Please, you you take this over. Like, tell them about my hair on you. Like, go oh, ahead. I find it everywhere. Like, I'd find it on the jerseys. Look. Exhibit B. <laughs> <laughs> I'd find it on my actual hair. Like, like my hair is taking My over actual her hair. hair. <laughs> like, it was everywhere. And the food. The, especially the food. The modern male has adapted to not only using urine as a form of marking its territory. The food. That's not intentional, though. It's just like a, I've got like a locks, you know? So they, they, they're running for it, but yeah. Yeah, that is true. It's that a, is, it's, it's a, a that's very, true. very true very, very stereotype. True. Black women cannot drive. Okay, it's, it was specifically a, like a middle-aged black woman thing. So, so apparently middle-aged black women can't drive. Now that is unfortunately, I, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a, it's a very white people in South Africa stereotype. They, it's it's almost like how, how people in America feel about Asian people driving. That type of stereotype has been put around um, black Do they even drive. call it a stereotype in America? Like, they call it racist. Yeah, yeah, okay, is, it's, it's is... racist. <laughs> yeah, it's racism. So tell me, think about the women you know in your life, the black women in your life who drive. Are they bad drivers? No. So it's... My aunts can drive, my mom can drive. And yeah, the females that I know that have license can drive. So you've never really experienced like b bad driving as being a typical middle-aged black woman thing. I've experienced it with every race. Actually. Yeah, that's the thing. Jonathan could be a bad driver. Sarah could be a bad driver. Copano could be a bad driver. And then, I don't know, Naledi could be a bad driver. It's just that person who's a bad driver. There's no bad driving gene, so it's not a, it's not a race thing. It's a you, you yeah, suck at yeah. driving thing. <laughs> so, we'd say busted, not true? No, not necessarily, no. Okay. Black people have bad English accents. So, we don't have to argue this. Just say something. Say the, the, well, how does this one go? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Huh? <laughs> the quick brown The quick brown fox The quick brown fox jumped over Jumped over the lazy dog The lazy dog Say it one more time in full The quick 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 <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 quick. It's a sentence that contains every letter in the alphabet. Oh, I have yeah. no idea. That's or, cool. Anyway, the point I'm trying to prove is that hey, you get dialect, but like, okay, there's a South African white people English accent. So, but that's not correct. That's not the correct one. That's just a version of the accent. So she does not have like a white girl accent or anything. But that would be stupid. She has a very like she has a good accent, but with like an African queen twist to it. With an African. Exactly, and I love that actually. It's uh, <laughs> I do make fun of it sometimes, but that's the whole point of it. Because yeah, when does. I speak Setswana, she makes fun of it, or you know. So have fun yeah. with accents, but it's cool. Because it Own your that. accent, man. Own it. It's not. It's not true simply because the myth is flawed in the sense that there is no such thing as the English accent. I feel like the English accent would be the British English accent. Mm. Sure, cause because they're English they're people. English. Sure, it okay. originates there. Well, we always talk like that. I don't know, so you talk like that so, perfectly. So, that is so probably accents. the English people are the only people with proper English accents. So we do have pr proper English accents, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. We really uh, you, do. Are you, you going really I mean? deep into the English accent? <laughs> and he kicked the ball and he scored. Oh, what a day it is for soccer! We did it! <laughs> Ronaldo! <laughs> we was flying, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and then, then the pilot says, brace, brace yourselves. And then he wasn't flying no more. <laughs> you probably that's have so no funny. idea what you just spoke about. But if you don't, that would definitely be in the description. Okay. Okay. This is a very South African based stereotype. The stereotype is that white people 
do not take public transport in the form of taxis. Now, taxis in South Africa aren't like yellow cabs with like the word taxi on top. A taxi is like, what do you call it? Like a mini bus uh, with yeah. like, it seats like 12 people. I think, yeah, 12, 15, 12 to 15. 15 people. And I personally, I've never taken a taxi. It, I have been afraid to, but not for the reasons you'd sus suspect. To me, I don't want to attract negative attention in the form of like racism or stuff because I am very anti-racism and I'm very, I, I don't want to attract. Because white people, do not take public transportation it's it's new when they do mm. when they do it's like oh look a white person in it's taxi. a thing it's a thing like you can't yeah. you, you can see it it's like oh cool whatever mm. you know what i mean so i think maybe white people don't like that but then you, you have to start somewhere to change yeah, that the whole way to change that is to oversaturate the fact that like oh that's nothing new a white girl in a taxi exactly so we want i'm open to it now but i want to do it with her you know my first time so i'll have to experience it properly Easy, get your mind out the guns, okay? the whole point of this video is like opening up your mind racially so i want to try it we'll definitely get that on video <laughs> but mm -hmm. we'll as a as a form of showing that taxis aren't for black people and you know taxis are for all people taxis are for but, all uh, but like in joburg in joburg right because Joburg has people of different backgrounds, color, like, whatever. It's very like, versatile. It's very versatile. It's very, you know, a lot of diversity there. Yeah. You find people, you find white people in taxis. And it's I nothing new. I have friends, new. white friends who've been in taxis. So like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's normal. It's okay. Yeah, it's it's a like, thing okay, now cool. More than ever. She's here. Yeah. You know, now that in Joburg, it's, it's, it's getting normal. It's, it's a thing that's like, okay, cool. It's happening, whatever. You know, yeah. it's Joburg. You know mm. what I mean? So, so yeah, so, I like so it's, it's a, it's true that uh, white people are afraid of taking taxis, but it's slowly a It was at this point that Sunflower's friend decided to call her. Okay. Black <laughs> people cannot swim. You know what? Black people can swim when they're taught, okay? It, oh, that is a good point. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can. Thing is, Okay, I can't swim, but I have reasons for that. She has you know, reasons. like growing up in like a, in, in in the townships, there were no, we had no uh, community pools. Like, and they were far, like town, town, the like far. Yeah, so you hardly get to go there and learn. No access. You don't have access to it. And if you want to have like a, a swimming lesson, they were costly. Yeah. So as a parent, you had to prioritize. Is either you go swimming lessons or pay school fees? So which one came first? School. That's it. Yeah, but it's something that's changing. Once again, like we said with the taxi thing where it's something I want to do, we are aiming to teach you how to swim now. It's never too late to learn to do something. So it's gonna happen. More and more now, as time continues from past wounds and stuff, more and more black people as as much as white people are learning to yeah swim. the new generation it's becoming a common is, common thing among yeah because the, the new generation like, they're, they're getting to the pools now yeah exactly. they yeah. they have access so this is one of the things that's changing so that's a good thing and it all starts with you <laughs> why would you put this in you know it's not right that this has been put exhibit in. b I am so <laughs> i'm so <laughs> upset you know this is wrong we're gonna stop so this states that white people <laughs> love to complain and that's just nonsense. It's not true. I'll take this further than you ever can. White people do not complain. You hear me, buddy? White people do not complain. Do white people complain? <laughs> yeah, so it's a common belief in South Africa that white people are excellent complainers. Yeah, they are actually. We pride ourselves we in how learn. well we yeah. complain about things. But we love that side of white people. Like it, <laughs> it's, it's a it, fun thing for it you. It demands change. It's like yeah. if a white person complain, they complain with, with pride, with passion. It, it's, yeah. And so you are forced to change the, situa the situation because of that. Yeah, so it's a, it has good sides, it has its annoying sides, but it's generally very true. <laughs> like white people can take complaining to a whole new level. Uh, I, I don't know how, how valid this is in other countries, but it's very valid in South Africa, so... Yay. It was at this point that Honey Bunch decided that he had had enough. Right after this video, he went to complain to the stereotype submitters about this submission. Needless to say, they laughed at him.